Today I'm going to be trying to rebuild this nitrogen regulator. I've had it for quite a few years and uh, it was probably probably almost a couple of years now it's been sitting in the garage but uh, it, uh, it stopped. It, it doesn't not work at all. Uh, it will crank up to higher pressures but um, when you go down to the minimum setting just to purge even if you try to turn it all the way off take that set screw out um, it'll it'll be leaking by uh, too much nitrogen you know it's not too much for a reasonable uh, brazing purge or whatever so um, I'm gonna try to rebuild it I bought this rebuild kit on I forget which some uh, torch and regulator website and, oh yeah look at that. that's probably it right there <laughs> Yeah, so uh, I'm going to try to put that rebuild kit in there, and I'm hoping that's going to fix it. I'm going to use the old spud wrench today. Should be, don't want to mar it up too bad. The bottom might get some teeth marks on there. The soft jaws didn't work, so I had to use the paper towels. Not as good, but... So, uh, and of course, I'm going to put on some safety glasses, because I'm unsure of uh, if there's going to be some kind of crazy spring in there or something, so... Um, a fine array to pick from here. Ooh, that's not, those ones are very fine, I guess. That's what it looks like inside. Yeah, there's no, was no dangerous spring action or anything, but I always like to play it on the safe side because I have seen regulators that are. So, um, so I'll keep all those in order, I guess. Garage is very bench is very messy right now, but I can still manage that. All right, I'm gonna dig in there a little bit further. So I got the uh, gaskets off the top here. Plastic gasket, or my other, this little depressor here. Whatever you call it. Makes sense what we call the depressor because it pushes down on this little little pin right there, and that's where we're getting the uh, regulation from. So I assume that's where the issue is since it's it's leaking internally, it's not leaking externally. So all those gaskets and such are probably fine, but I think that's what is in the rebuild kit here. And hmm. yeah, that's Probably right. Take this nut off with a socket of some kind, and that will probably be the parts for inside there. And hopefully, that'll fix it. That'd be really cool. And I forgot to show the, uh, uh, I think I showed that it was a turbo torch, but I forgot to show the model number here for anyone who's interested. Uh, there we go. Serial number there, I think. P250500. I think there's a, a you know a dash in there um, on the if you're looking for parts or whatever. But inner gas. So, so obviously a nitrogen regulator is what it's being used for. It has the quarter inch flare on here for HVAC purging. So. Um, yeah, hopefully this, uh, this kit right here will fix it. Uh, there seemed to be something about the kit that this part number didn't seem quite right. Cause that's the, but I'm sure that's their, um, uh, the website's part number. You know what I mean? I believe this repair kit will do the job. If you take a look at it. Um, this part number kind of confused me at first. I thought this might have been for a different regulator, like something similar to this, but with these extra numbers on here. Um, but I'm thinking that that is the website's part number. So it works for the P250-500 through the 580. And that repair kit probably is... Uh, how their part number works, but uh, hopefully this, uh, they said it's looking like it's the right bag of parts, but you can never be 
you're never sure until you actually take it apart. So, um, in case you're interested. So that came out easily enough with a 5.8 socket. Um, and the parts look like they are correct. I assume the spring and this little brass cup or whatever that is. Yeah. It gets reused and you just replace the stem part. Let's see, where is that? Oh, I don't know. That rod looks like it could be skinnier. It might just be an optical illusion. So, I don't have anything to mount my camera on at the moment, but I assume it pulls off of there somehow for maybe just a slight pressure fit of some kind. Let me see here. Yeah, it just pulls right off of there. You just, you just need two hands to do it. Yeah, it just pulls right off of there. Separated. Put it over here with the other parts. I don't see anything on here that looks like it's contaminated or anything like that. It doesn't look like it has any chunks out of it. <clears throat> So I'll pop those new parts in there and I said hopefully that'll fix it. So the only uh, only tool besides the uh, wrenches you need to take everything apart is this little o-ring pick. You need to get at some of these gaskets and such, especially the small one down inside where this little plunger is. So uh, regulators back together and going to be Putting it to the test now. Hopefully it works. All right, here we are, all pressured up, and uh, it's already a win because it's not leaking by with the thumb screw out. So we can crank it up or crank it down as we like. So there it is, being a regulator again. So I think this regulator new is, or the equivalent of it you could buy now anyways, it's about 150 bucks or so. So uh, the repair kit was about 30 bucks. So I'm thinking this is a worthwhile thing to do. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed it.